Hi guys! If you're thinking about visiting Vienna, we've got some tips for you. In just a few minutes, we'll tell you everything you need to know about your trip to the capital of Austria. How do you get around Vienna? Taxi, Uber or Metro? A list of the top things you must see if you visit Vienna. What's a must try when it comes to traditional Viennese food? First, transportation. After landing in Vienna, your first thought is, how do I get to the hotel? You can always choose a taxi, Uber or boat. However, Austrians prefer public transportation and that's what we're recommending too. Here's why. It's very easy to use. It's fast, cheap and efficient. It's one of the best public transportation systems in Europe. I said it's easy to use and I meant it. In Vienna you can buy a pass that's valid on all the public transportation modes. Train, bus, metro or tram. You can get it online by installing the VN Mobile app on your smartphone. The pass you have to buy is called a time card. You can choose the precise time and date you want your ticket to start and it will be valid for exactly 24, 48 or 72 hours depending on your choice. What's even more awesome is that in Vienna you don't have to validate your ticket when entering public transportation. You just keep it in your pocket on your phone. If your adventure in Vienna starts at the airport, please note that you'll have to buy an extra ticket for the train trip to the city. It costs 1.9 euros and can be bought at the red OBB ticket machine or at the salespeople in the OBB office, which are both on your way to the train station. You don't have to validate this ticket either. Now go to the metro station, get on the train S7 with the direction Florisdorf Bahnhof and let your Viennese adventure begin. To get the best route to your hotel, we recommend using Google Maps. In Vienna, public transportation is always on time, whether it's the metro, train, tram or bus. It cost us 18 euros for three whole days, which is about what you'd pay for a cab from the airport to the hotel. The Schönbrunn Palace is absolutely stunning. You'll spend an entire day here and you'll love every second of it. To visit the palace, you can choose from two different tours. The Imperial Tour includes 22 rooms and costs about 22 euros, while the Grand Tour takes you through 44 rooms for just 26 euros. The Schönbrunn will surprise you, but the gardens behind it will leave you speechless. The palace is surrounded by a 400 acres park, similar to the gardens at Versailles. Most areas of the park can be visited for free, but for some points of interest at Schönbrunn, you'll need an extra ticket at about 4.5 euros. All of them are worth seeing, especially Gloriette where you'll have a stunning panoramic view over Vienna, the gardens and the palace. And while you're up there, make sure you get a cup of Viennese coffee on their terrace, because there's still plenty to see. After the coffee break you have to check out the Schönbrunn Zoo, the oldest zoo in the world. You'll need about 3 or 4 hours for this, and while it may sound like a lot, you won't get bored at all. They have rhinos, giraffes, penguins, monkeys, pandas, polar bears, and all kinds of exotic species of birds and fish. It's an amazing zoo, and they have several restaurants and bars inside, in case you get thirsty or hungry. Music 
At Prater you'll find all kinds of carousels, roller coasters and ferris wheels. You must take a ride on the big ferris wheel and enjoy the beautiful view over Vienna. After that you can try one of the many roller coasters and carousels or eat at one of the many restaurants in the park. I advise you to go there in the evening to enjoy the atmosphere, the music, the lights and the fun. On your trip to Vienna, you must go to Stefanplatz and see the stunning St. Stephen Cathedral. Surrounded by a gorgeous plaza, this is an impressive church that will take your breath away. It's a nice view over the city from the tower, but please note that you can only go up there between 9 am and 5.30 pm. While you're in the Vienna city center, you can take a nice walk from Stefanplatz to the Hofburg Palace. If Schönbrunn was the summer residence for the imperial family, Hofburg was their home during the winter. You can visit some more imperial rooms at the Sisi Museum, see the Vienna Library, check out the Spanish Riding School, or admire the butterflies in the Hofburg Butterfly Garden. The Vienna Opera is famous all over the world. Even if you're not a fan of the opera, you still have to go see it because it's such an impressive building. There are several tours to choose from, but if you want to attend the show, you'll need to get your tickets in advance. As I said, it's famous all over the world. Plan your day so that at noon you're at the anchor clock in Vienna. The centuries-old clock throws a nice 15 minutes show displaying 12 important characters in Vienna's history. The biggest brands in the world have stores in the historic center of Vienna. You can get yourself some nice jewelry at Cartier, a new Rolex watch and new Gucci clothes. But if you don't feel like spending money there, you can just walk on the beautiful cobbled street and enjoy the architecture, the statues and the Viennese vibes. Vienna is beautiful at night. Enjoy the beautiful lights, have dinner at one of the amazing restaurants in the city center and enjoy a glass of wine on one of the many terraces downtown. There are many other things to see in Vienna, so if you're staying for more than a few days, you won't get bored or hungry. I'm not going to recommend any fancy, expensive Michelin restaurants, but I do have some great, affordable recommendations. While there are many, many McDonald's restaurants in Vienna, the traditional food is so good that it would be a pity not to try it. For breakfast in Vienna, you can make a quick stop at Café Central. This is a stunning historical building where even Freud himself would have coffee with other famous writers, poets or architects. It's a popular place and people usually stand in line to get in, so make sure you get there early. If you arrive around 9, you'll get a table right away, just in time for a nice breakfast, traditional cakes, an apple strudel, and of course, a cup of the famous Viennese coffee. For lunch, there are two things you must try. The traditional Viennese schnitzel, made with pork or veal, is served with a delicious potato salad and cranberry jam. It pairs perfectly with one of the local beers, just like the traditional Grostel, which is another local dish made with potatoes, beef, pork, bacon and an egg. You can find the schnitzel, the groschtel, as well as several delicious beers at Beer and Beerly, a cool restaurant close to the opera. We found them on TripAdvisor and they did not disappoint. For dinner you could have another schnitzel because it is delicious, but you could also try a traditional pork knuckle. 
The best place to do that is in Prater Park at Schweizer House. It's worth it. The pork knuckle weighs at least 1 kilo or 2 pounds, it's delicious and it can easily feed 2 people for just 22 euros. We loved Vienna and we can't wait to go back. We'd love to hear about your trip and the things you like the most in this beautiful European capital. If you enjoyed our video, hit like and subscribe and check out our other videos as well. See you soon!